With the big commercial success that followed Disney's Zootopia, we aren't surprised that fans are curious if there will be a sequel. The 2016 movie won audiences over with its touching and universal message about prejudice, together with its light comedy. Since its premiere, the internet has been speculating about what the sequel will be about, who will be coming back, and when will it be released. Directors Brian Howard and Rich Moore have shown interest in a sequel, with Moore saying to Collider in 2016, it would be nice to revisit it again. It was shown on a fan's poll that many fans wouldn't have a problem waiting up to five years for a sequel. If it turns out to be better than the original film, this could be a tough challenge for the Zootopia crew to overcome. But anything is possible. Mark Rindo Smith makes for an unexpected rags-to-riches Hollywood story. The former gladiator competitor turned actor didn't expect to be associated with the Los Angeles elite. In a 2017 interview with The Sun, he commented that he was raised by a single parent. He also commented that his life was nothing and that he never could have imagined he would get on a plane, much less live in LA or be in movies alongside these stars. Smith portrayed the intimidating Officer McCorn in the first Zootopia movie, which is only fitting because of his appropriate nickname. And in the interview he had with The Sun, he said that he would be returning to his role in the upcoming sequel of the franchise which is a plus for all the fans who are eager to see Zootopia 2 within the next couple of years. Mark Rhino Smith is not the only member of the Zootopia cast that has leaked details on the possible second installment. Tommy Tiny Lister, who was the voice of Finnick in Zootopia, supposedly gave away some clues at a meet and greet at a Dave & Buster's restaurant. I can tell you for sure I'm doing another Zootopia with Disney, he was quoted as saying in a blog Mickey article. We're doing three of them. It's the biggest film that Disney is producing. Well, that's some great news if they are true. Besides exposing the multiple sequels, Lister was also open about what the Zootopia 2 budget could look like. The last one was $240 million, he continued. This one I'm hearing will be $300 million. That's what they spent on the budget, not the advertising. Again, if that's the case, we're excited about what could mean for future installments. And here is everything we know so far about Zootopia 2. Hello? I'm here to ask you some questions about a case. Then they should have gotten a real cop to solve it. You are under arrest. For what? Hooding a free wing? The years 2019, 2020, and 2021 were shaped as banner ones for Disney movies, as The House of Mouse had a wide variety of blockbuster films, both in theaters and in the pipeline during this period. For example, in 2019, Disney released the live-action remakes of classics like Dumbo and Aladdin, as well as the remake of The Lion King. In 2020, the live-action remake of Mulan has also been released, as well as the live-action prequel to 101 Dalmatians' Cruella. Then, in 2023, we will be able to see on the big screen the new installment of the Indiana Jones franchise. Regarding the Zootopia 2's release, that's anybody's guess. There's a lot of speculation on the internet, but for now, there isn't any well-founded information. We hope that it will soon change, though. It could be a great addition to the already exciting agenda of Disney films. Since Disney Plus keeps on experimenting with releasing movies via streaming, it's reasonable to ask ourselves what the Zootopia 2 release might look like. With movies such as Luca and Turning Red, Disney decided to abandon the theatrical releases and went directly to exclusively streaming. But with the massive success of the first film and a big audience of excited fans, Zootopia 2 might fare differently. I suit you good! You a cop now, Nick. You gonna need one of these. <laughs> While there aren't any confirmed members of the cast at this point, two actors have already commented on their involvement in the sequel. Mark Smith, who voiced the grumpy officer McCorn, said to The Sun in a 2017 interview that he will be returning to his role in the new movie. As we mentioned earlier, the late Tommy Lister, who voiced the hot-tempered Fox Finnick, said that he was doing another Zootopia with Disney since they were creating a trilogy. With the announcement of his death in 2020, it is difficult to say if he will be replaced by another actor. Jennifer Goodwin and Jason Bateman will probably be reprising the leading characters, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, as they continue fighting the good fight. Byron Howard revealed in a 2016 interview with Collider that his affection for the bubbly, obese cheetah, Officer Clawhauser, 
Nate Torrance, and talked about the lots of different directions the Zootopia story could take. This could be indicating a sequel or a trilogy. One of the reasons why people love Zootopia so much is the big variety of characters. Certainly people love Judy and Nick, the main characters of the story, so most likely they will be returning in the upcoming sequel. The directors were also asked in an interview with Collider in 2016 about the minor characters and who should return among them. Byron Howard responded by saying, We have so many hours of him being hilarious and fun. It was affordable to do a TV show that was the same quality as the movie. I would watch the Clawhauser show every week. Since Zootopia didn't end on a cliffhanger, the chances of a sequel are countless. Goodwin and Bateman have both expressed their interest in the sequel with Goodwin saying to Cinema Blend that she'd like to see Nick as the one who convinces Judy that the world is worth fighting for. Bateman alternatively said he'd like to see the two of us kicking ass out there, cleaning up the streets, we're a couple of new cops out there, so bad guys be warned. With the inclusion of themes such as diversity, racial profiling, and acceptance in the first movie, it will be interesting to see how the sequel will navigate the portrayal of Judy and Nick's policing in an optimistic light without surpassing the political and social steps that have been made since 2016. It is most likely that Judy and Nick will continue to improve their community, or probably they'll travel far away from their home and find new animals with more complex social codes and discover how they need to modify their approach to policing. The short-form approach of Zootopia Plus could also influence the route of the sequel, as it would have various well-established stories to derive from. Even though Nick and Judy are a fox and a rabbit, it is very obvious that the two of them have human-like feelings. Knowingly, some fans of the franchise want to see their relationship evolve to another level. I found immediately that there's one camp of fans that want Judy and Nick to be in love, director Rich Moore explained in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. They want them to get married and show us drawings of their wedding. That has to be some cute fan mail to receive. Contrarily, some fans feel the exact opposite way about their relationship. Then there's the other side that says, no, they cannot get married. He continued, why does every male and female couple in a movie have to fall in love? They don't think there should be a romance between them. Why can't they just be best friends? Interestingly, people are so deeply emotionally invested in the lives of these characters. On a related note, we wanted to know, what do you think the Zootopia 2 plot will be about? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching.